shootings in nearly 24 hours. Tuesday night, a 14 year old boy shot dead in a drive by shooting on Cheshire Drive in Mobile. Then last night, more shots fired in the same location. WKRG News 5's Gabby Easterwood is live at Mobile Police Headquarters tonight. And Gabby, you spoke to neighbors about this violent week. Yeah, we went back to that neighborhood to speak with those neighbors, and they say they are frankly afraid. Some of them are even ramping up security at their own homes. Crime scene tape still present on Cheshire Drive with two shootings shocking a neighborhood. I would have never thought that that could come this close to our home in this neighborhood, never. A neighbor who wished to remain anonymous lives across the street and says she heard it all both nights. Tuesday night, I heard the gunshot, and it was just boom, 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 boom. And then last night, I was, I heard it again, boom, 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 boom. I said it can't be the same thing that's going on again. It was barely 24 hours after the 14-year-old boy was shot and killed, when shots were fired again at the same home. This time, no one was hurt. The bullets struck the home multiple times in the victim's vehicle. This is something that, that doesn't happen out here. This is something like you hear on television. You don't, you don't hear on Cheshire Drive. Mobile police say they are investigating the potential connection in the two incidents and haven't specifically said if it's the same home. But our source says it was. This has to end. You know, we we have to have get back to some kind of normalcy over here because we can't live here like that. A dangerous week made those who live on Cheshire Drive feel unsafe. Now they are taking actions like setting up security cameras until the person responsible is caught. Well, I'm hoping that they find out who did it and, and relatively quickly. You're already behind doors and locked. And, but, you, you know, I never not felt safe here until now, until this last week. And no arrests have been made as of yet, but police are asking anyone with information into both of these shootings to come forward for justice for that neighborhood and for that 14-year-old boy. Live in Mobile, Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.